What's up, Facebook world? Hey, it's Bobby again. Today, I am going to make a smoked meatloaf. Well, I'm not gonna make it today, but I'm gonna prepare it. We're gonna put it in the freezer tonight, and then tomorrow, we're gonna smoke us up a meatloaf. I've never tried it, it looks amazing. Got this video from a guy on, I guess, YouTube, Cosmo. Seems like a good old Southern boy, knows what he's doing, so we're gonna get him a shot. To get this started, you take about a half a pound or a half a package of bacon, chop it up. We're gonna fry it up, leave that grease and that butter in there, and then we're gonna cook the onion, and then we'll throw all the ingredients together, and I'll show you how we go from there. Hey, so check it out. I've read a couple different recipes to throw this together, and one of them said, or many of them said, not to cook this bacon all the way down. So I cooked about three quarters, half, a little over halfway. I left the grease. I'm gonna go ahead and saute these onions and that butter and uh, bacon grease. And then we'll let all that cool down and we'll go ahead and throw this meatloaf together. So there we go. Just wanted to make sure you knew that. So I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I'm gonna make this a keto meatloaf. So just trying to make sure I change the ingredients to match a keto loaf, keto version. Keat loaf, damn. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna use almond flour and I also bought this barbecue sauce here. Uh, found it at the store. It's a Kindler's sugar-free, keto-friendly. It calls for about a half a cup. But anyway, just wanted to make sure that you knew that there are options out there that don't taste like shit. Um, and uh, this is one of them. Yeah, I had my wife do a blind taste test, and she said if I wouldn't have told her it was sugar-free or keto, she wouldn't have known. And for a hound dog like her, that is saying something. So anyway, so I'm going to keep throwing this, uh, uh, all these different ingredients together, and we'll get it going. Okay, so I'm pretty much letting that those onions and that bacon cool down before I mix the, the meat together. But I just want to point out that you buy these little bread pans, apparently, and you line them with the saran wrap, and you just put your uh, prepared meatloaf in there, and then you freeze it, and then uh, the next day it's ready to go. Uh, you can put your rub on it and put it in the, uh, in the smoker. So anyway, just wanted to let you know that's just part of this important step. Uh, to get this thing going. So I've never made this. It's going to be a keto meatloaf and we're going to see how it turns out. Well, here's the ingredients. I've got about a little over two pounds of 80-20 hamburger meat. And then I got a pound of breakfast sausage, two cups of almond flour. You could use breadcrumbs if you want. I did not have any keto friendly brown sugar, but I figured I could just compromise uh, with that. And then I'm going to add some more sour sauce, a couple of tablespoons, three eggs, barbecue sauce. We're going to mix this, meat it together with our hands, and then we'll place it in those uh, little bread pans like I showed you earlier. All right, so I just took that, uh, all those ingredients that I mixed together and I put them in these little baking pans, little bread pans, and I put some uh, plastic wrap inside it. And I'm just going to close them off and put them in the freezer overnight. And then tomorrow we'll get them out and we'll smoke them. Should be delish. Probably not going to do all three, maybe two. We'll see. I do love me love. We'll play it by ear and see. Hello, everyone. We're back. Today is day number two. I have taken the meatloaf that I prepared out of the freezer. I'm going to let it set out for about an hour, and then I'm going to rub it down with some mustard and put my favorite rub on it. So here, let me go ahead and show you what they look like at this point. Oh, my shirt. You can read it. I'm going to wear this to the polling place in about a month. Well, here we go. So you can see that they're just in these little containers. I'm just going to unwrap them, dump them out. We're going to put that rub on them and some mustard, and we should be good to go. I'm going to use two different smokers. I'm going to use a charcoal Kamado smoker, and then I'm going to use my electric uh, smoke shack smoker. And we're going to see how these things compare head to head. Yeah, I just want to show you how cool is that. These things just come right up out of that uh, little tin and then you get yourself a drip pan to put underneath it. So pretty cool. Like I said, I'm gonna be putting some mustard and some rub on it and then we'll throw them in the barbecue. I have no idea how long it's gonna take. I think maybe about three hours. All right, so here they are. I rubbed them down with that mustard and that rub. Some rub that I made. I just want to show you, I've been keeping these books for my smoker and uh, through the years, I just write down everything I ever cook, what weight, pride, whatever I put in it. And I can always go back to it and uh, see exactly how long it took, any notes that I might have taken. And it just really makes uh, smoking a lot easier. 
because then you kind of have that memory, you know. So anyway, think about it. Uh, get you some books, take notes, and, and keep it up. All right, so here you go. This is the competition right here. How, which one does it better, the Kamado or the Smokette? I have a feeling they're both going to be amazing, but we'll see. So I think the Kamado will get done a little earlier just because it tends to run hotter, uh, but we'll see. All righty. And there's my smoking buddy, Cody. So this is the final product. The one over here on the left is the one that came out of my smoke at smoker. And the one over here on the right is the one that came out of my Kamado. So let's go ahead, let's try this one here first. Moist, delicious. Now we're gonna try this one. Oh man, delicious. So there you have it. This is what smoked meatloaf is all about. It's amazing, delicious, and I just can't tell you, you need to try it, all right? So follow my steps in my video and make it. It's really good. Okay, do it. What do you think? Really good. Really good or do, like really, really good or what? Really, really good. Molly, let me know what you think. Mm. Is delicious. That uh, you guys all need to try that. This is the... This is the true test right here. This is it good, Cody? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good?